there's an approved stimulus budget plan, which is going to give $1,400 per person, but most likely well lower the income eligibility. The final bill is still in the making, and it's hard to say when it would actually be out. One thing for sure is that Biden said they're going to be $1,400, period. There are some proposed changes in that this time around, they might include eligible adult dependents. So for example, people over 17 with disability or college students, and have families with mixed status citizenship be eligible for payments as well. For example, family with undocumented parents and a US born child. On the last stimulus check, they made it so that joint filers with one undocumented spouse would be able to get paid and made that retroactive for this first stimulus check. So it's unclear whether they would do the same this time around. According to Forbes, this is the amount we might be able to receive depending on our income level. $1,400 for individuals, $2,800 for joint filers, $1,400 for each dependent child under 17, and $2,000 for qualified adult dependent. They do want to lower the income limit, and the discussion so far has been an income cap of $50,000 for individuals, $75,000 for heads of households, and $100,000 for joint filers. On previous stimulus checks, if you earn above these limits, your check was reduced by 5% of the total amount over these caps. So for example, if you're over by $1,000, your check would be reduced by $50. But there has been a lot of debate over the income cap, so nothing is finalized. And who knows, maybe it'll end up the same as it was last time, which for your reference was $75,000 for individuals, $112,000 for heads of households, and $150,000 for joint filers. One interesting question to think about is that it's tax season. So how is the government going to handle the payment of this third stimulus check? Also, some people are debating whether to file their 2020 tax returns right now because they might have earned a lot in 2020 and filing early might make them ineligible for the payment. On the other hand, this stimulus check may get approved faster than expected because they plan to use something called a budget reconciliation, which means they only need 51 majority vote rather than 60 for the final bill to pass in the Senate. Another question going around is what if you didn't get your stimulus checks or if you got an incorrect amount? Well, good news. You'll be able to claim that as a recovery rebate credit on the 2020 tax return. This also applies to errors in the amount of money for child dependents. For details, ask an accountant. Besides stimulus checks, there are a few other things that might be included in this new deal, which includes canceling $10,000 in student debt and extending the pause on student loan payment, expanding the child tax credit per year to $3,600 for children under six and up to $3,000 for older children and getting $400 per week of federal unemployment payments through September. None of these are finalized and anything can change, so stay tuned. In the meantime, if you want to up your knowledge on investing, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button.